Hey everyone, Dave here with Headset Advisor. In this video, we are going to review the Jobber Engage 65. This is a wireless headset that connects to your computers and also your desk phone so you can use one headset for all your communication needs. Of course, we're gonna do a live microphone test so you can hear exactly how the sound quality of the voice would sound like on the other end of a phone call. So let's get into what this headset is all about right now. If you're a technology consultant researching headsets for your customers, then stop watching this video right now and click the link in the video description below to learn about the proven process that hundreds of our technology consultants are following to best help their customers and get paid. The Jabra Engage 65 is a decked wireless headset, which just uses a different kind of wireless technology than Bluetooth. And it's great technology for office settings because you can get more headsets headsets in closer proximity. So if you have 50 people in an office, decked technology is really great. Or even if you're working from home with decked, you get a lot further wireless range, rated up to about 300 to 400 feet of wireless range, where Bluetooth typically gives you like 50 to 100. Now, when we're looking at the design of the Jobber Engage 65, you have a lightweight professional grade headset. So this headset's really designed for some Someone who's going to be on the phone for extended periods of time. It's good for people that can even uh, be on the phone all day long if they're customer service and sales and you just need a headset that's going to work a full working day. The Jabra Engage 65 is one to consider. Now this utilizes a noise canceling microphone boom that can be worn on the right ear or you can rotate it over to be worn on the left ear which gives you more versatility utility when using the headset. And it is a rotatable all the way around 360 degrees. So it gives you a lot of mobility as far as positioning the headset when you're wearing it. And I like that the design has a bump out to the design of the headband, which allows the speaker to kind of fit more naturally on your head and just be overall more comfortable. It also has a soft leather ear cushion. It's just super soft, like a memory foam. So when you wear it, it's just, you hardly feel the headset is on. The Jabra Engage 65 is available in three different wearing styles. So we have the single speaker here, which only has one speaker with a headband that goes over the head that is adjustable. You have the dual speaker option, which has two speakers and is worn over the head. And then you have the third option, which is convertible, which can be worn over the ear, can be worn behind the neck, or can be worn over the head. So it gives whoever's using the headset more options on how you can wear the headset. The Jabra Engage 65 more refers to the charging base. The base is the brains behind the operation, and this is what allows you to connect to your different devices. The Jabra Engage 65 is able to connect to a computer via a USB cable, and it can connect to phones like Yealink, Poly, Grandstream, and many other brands of your typical desktop telephones with an RJ9 cable. Now you will need an extra accessory if you want to be able to remotely answer and end calls while away from the desk. So imagine for a second, you have a phone call and you went to go grab coffee. If you don't have this accessory called an EHS cable or lifter, then you won't be able to push the button on your headset to be able to answer or end the phone call while away from the desk. If you want help, getting the right recommendation for which cable's best for your specific phone, as there's a lot of different uh, cables, then please reach out to our team here at Headset Advisor, give us a call, send us an email, or live chat with us on our website. You have three buttons on the front of the base. You have a green phone icon, that's for answering phone calls. You have a red phone icon, that's for hanging up calls, and you also have a mute button on the base, so you can mute the microphone directly from the base in case you don't wanna use the buttons on the headset itself. You also have a couple of lights at the bottom of the screen, and that's going to show you which device you have set as your default. So when you have the desk phone icon lit up, as your default, when you push the button, it's going to automatically try to answer or end or start a phone call on your desk phone. 
If you have the computer, as soon as you turn the headset on with the button on the side of the headset, it's going to try to turn on the computer. So it'll start the audio for the computer. So you can change your preference as far as which device you want as the primary source. And on the bottom, you have a couple of adjustments. You have your A through G switch. This is going to give you compatibility depending upon which phone you're connecting your wireless headset to. And of course, you have your microphone volume adjustment and this is for your desk phone settings and typically you'll adjust that either if your voice is quiet to other people or you have an echo in your headset that's typically because you have too much microphone volume causing feedback in your headset causing an echo sound now on the headset itself, there are a few buttons. On the side, there's this silver button. This is your call control button. This is going to answer and end phone calls away from the desk, which just turns on and off the headset from connection to the base. Then you also have your volume up and your volume down buttons on the side of the headset. They're just these little uh, rubber dots uh, above the call control button. That's what allows you to do your volumes. And then you have your mute button that is uh, available on the end of the microphone boom. The microphone boom is also bendable so you can adjust it to the proper position on your mouth. To connect the headset to your computer, there will be a USB cable that's included. It has micro USB that will get plugged into the back of the charging base. Very simple. And then you use the other end, which has USB-A that plugs into the computer. That's how easy it is to connect this to the computer. Now to connect the headset to your desk phone, you'll have a cable that has a blue uh, indicator on the cable, which you will plug into the back of the charging base to the blue icon. They match and on the other end is an RJ9 cable, which will get plugged into the headset port of the telephone that you have. Now, of course, like I mentioned before, if you want remote answering, you'll need that EHS. So that's how easy it is to connect up the Jabra Engage to both your computer and also your desk phone. When it comes to the speaker quality for the Jabra Engage 65, it's not really designed for music and for podcasts. It's more designed for people who are on phone calls for a long period of time. And also if you're doing a lot of meetings, the voice quality is really crisp and clear. It's just not the most enjoyable experience for music, but it does have a noise canceling microphone. So your voice is heard more clearly by customers. All right, so now we're testing out the microphone and it's actually being recorded directly through this computer right here. So this is what it sounds like in a quiet environment. And we have a decibel reader here so you can see how loud it is in the environment when we start to play some sounds through our Jabra Speak 750 speakerphone here. So let's get started on the noise canceling tests. All right, now this is office noises through the camera mic. Switching to the Jabra headset, this is what it sounds like with office noises going on in the background, people talking, phones ringing, that type of thing. So this is what it sounds like on the Jabra. Barking dogs test on the camera mic. Switching to the Jabra headset, this is what it sounds like when you have a lot of dogs barking in the background. If you have babies crying, this is what it sounds like in the camera mic. Now switching to the Jabra headset, this is what it sounds like with babies crying in the background next to the Jabra headset. This is the blender test through the camera mic. Switching to the Jabra headset, this is what it sounds like with a really loud blender next to the Jabra headset. So what did you think of the microphone performance on the Jabra Engage 65? Put your thoughts in the comment section below. Curious to hear your feedback. The good thing about the Jabra Engage 65 being able to connect to your computer is you can access a lot of the settings directly on the computer. So you can download a free application from Jabra called Jabra Direct, and that's what allows you to adjust settings and update the firmware on the headset. And if you manage a team of people, there's also Jabra Express software that allows you to manage your entire organization's Jabra headsets and allows you to update them all, set certain settings so that everybody is working properly, which is always good for business. Now, when you go into the Jabra Direct app, you go into the headset, the Jabra Engage 65, and you can see it detected that we are using Microsoft Teams, which we'll dem demonstrate in just a second here. You can go into the 
settings, and it's going to give you a lot of options to adjust. So right now the headset is set to wideband audio mode, which just means you're gonna get better quality audio, but you're gonna lose battery life. So if you need more battery life, you put that in narrow band. It also has an equalizer. And one important uh, feature that a lot of customers like is side tone. You can turn it on or off through this settings here. And you can even adjust how loud your side tone control is. And for those of you that aren't familiar with side tone, it's just a little bit of sound that your microphone picks up and plays back through your own speaker, just very briefly or very faint. And it allows you to talk at a normal level. Sometimes with headsets, especially with two speakers, you can talk kind of loud. So it helps you talk at a normal level. You can adjust things on the bass, uh, the behaviors of the bass, and all of that through this Jobber Direct software. Now, when you're on Microsoft Teams, you can actually adjust the headset. So when you get a phone call on Microsoft Teams, you can press the button on the headset and that's going to wirelessly be able to answer and end the phone call away from the desk. And this headset, you can go like 300 to 400 feet away from the desk. And being optimized for Microsoft Teams, you can have your mute button, which is on the end of the microphone boom here, and it will actually mute and unmute Microsoft Teams. So if you're in a meeting with 50 people and everybody's microphone is muted, you can easily unmute your microphone with the press of a button. And you can also end the phone call with the push of that button again, wirelessly up to 300 feet away. The MSRP price on this headset is $477, but of course, course, if you use the link in the video description below and use coupon code YouTube, you're going to get a lot more savings on this headset. But to get the best deal possible, reach out to our friendly staff here at Headset Advisor, email us, call us or live chat with us to get the best deal possible, especially if you're looking for 10 or more headsets. The Jobber Engage 65 headset is designed for business professionals who are typically in the office, who have a computer and also have a desk phone and they need the ability to connect to both devices. There are two other models of Jobber Engage series. If you need more connections, if you have multiple uh, computers you wanna connect to, or you wanna add in Bluetooth to your cell phone and all use it through one headset, you can go up to the Jobber Engage 75. Otherwise, you can go down to the Jobber Engage 55, which connects to just your computer if you wanna save money on your headset. But it, it all all looks like the identical headset. It just has different ways it connects to your devices. What I like about the Jobber Engage 65 is that it's super lightweight. It's going to be comfortable for all day use. It's very seamless and easy to use. And then on top of that, it is also really secure connection with the DEC technology. It's trusted in financial institutions. It's trusted for the military. So it has a lot of use case applications that ensures secure and privacy and is a great option when you're connecting to desk phones and computers. So again, if you are interested in learning more about this, check it out on our website with the link in the video description below. But if you wanna check out the Jobber Engage 55 headset that connects to just the computer, check out that full in-depth review we did there. Other than that, make sure you like this video and subscribe so you don't miss out on future reviews like this one. Thanks a lot and we'll see you on the next one.